look bigger. Yeah, he's starting to brick drag a little bit. Hey guys, it's Will with Urban Outdoors DMV. I'm so excited to be out here today with the crew of the Marylander out of Stephenville, Maryland. And we're going out for stripers on a charter. Me, my buddy Lee, it's Ken Leon, and Jaden and Justin. I know the sound probably sucks, but this was too beautiful and too good of an opportunity with the bridge in the background not to shoot an intro. Like these videos, share these videos. Nice keeper catfish. If you really wanted to. Go pick that rod up. Looks like a big blister. Looks like a big blister. Dude, no. Keep 
Yep. Keep on it. First mate, these are these guys catch bait. The bait we've been catching all day. So yeah, they catch the they catch the spot. That's what we've been getting out of there all day. We've been line lining those spot all day. There you go, there's some. There's some bait. There you go. Oh no, Yeah, get him out. Let's see, how, let's see how a pro does it. I know how a novice like me does it. Let's see how a pro does it. <laughs> hey, you know but you guys are going to... in or out? What's that? <laughs> it's what dad does. Yeah? Yeah, just not as good. Not as proficient. That's going to look good, nice. Is that his teeth? Watch out. Friction. Oh, there's just goes. Oh, inside his mouth? Watch your face, brother. Nice. Nice little filet. Nice little 45 degree cut. Backbone. Over the rib cage, not through the rib cage. We appreciate that. <laughs> yep. We don't like those bones in there. No. I don't like cutting it off. I don't like cutting the rib bones off after I'm done. Stick them out of <laughs> Yeah, I can't stand that. Boom. Nice. Those beautiful fillets right there. Okay, guys. It's the next day. Went out there last night. It was a little bit slow, but they still found us some fish. It was a really good time. We went up north from Stevensville underneath the bridge. Try to hit some channel edges about, I don't know, two, three miles up. Um, we picked up a couple, a lot of shorts, and then we actually went back down to the bridge and fished on the bridge pilings, and that's when we caught our keepers. And uh, it was a lot of fun, and I'll put the link for their boat and their charter business in the description of this video. I highly recommend them, they're really good. We only really had two, two keeper rockfish. Like I said, caught, I don't know, eight, eight, nine, maybe even ten rockfish, aka stripers, last night, but we only had two that were actually illegal. They're all borderline, but they're a little bit too short. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna we're gonna try something we've never done before. At least I've never done. I'm gonna try to smoke this rockfish. We're gonna smoke it. I don't have a smoker, but I have a grill. But I have something cool I got from Amazon so to take care of that problem. You guys know I love Everglades fish and chicken. You know I probably could use old day for this. But, I don't know, I just love this stuff so much. Go ahead and give it a dust in that. Both sides. Okay. Alright, next thing. Uh, a bit of butter. I'll put some butter on this. Put a nice coat. Slap that on there. For this, I'm gonna put some lemon on here. Lemon and butter on fish with some basic spices. Okay, I have no idea what it's gonna taste. So probably went a little bit over with, overboard with the butter, but I don't love that stuff, so I think it'll be okay. All right. So when I was in the army at Fort Hood in Texas, we basically spent every weekend barbecuing. Unless we were working a road or on deployment, somewhere getting our ass shot off, we were barbecuing. We were barbecuing on the weekend, we were drinking, and we were passing out on someone's front yard. So, 
I learned to smoke meat down there and we used to smoke stuff like as much as possible. Those of you who know me know when I had my house in Laurel before I sold it last year, I had a big can smoker. We used to smoke stuff all the time. You can't really do that here. Because honestly, I don't have enough room for a smoker and I just have a small balcony to deal with. So until I buy another house, this is pretty much as good as it's gonna get. All right, so watch this. This cool little thing is a cast iron smoker box and it's made by Charbroil. I bought this, it was like 15 bucks on Amazon. I'll put the link in there. And what you do is, just put your wet wood chips, that's what this is here. These are pecan chips. I have these soaking in water. I'm gonna put them in there and then we're gonna fire this thing up. And it's gonna have these wood chips smoking and get this pecan wood or pecan wood, that's what we called it in New Jersey or Brooklyn. We used to call it pecan, not pecan. I realize it's not the right pronunciation, but like I say, I'm pretty uncultured, it's fine. We're gonna get this nice and hot. We're gonna get it smoking up and we're gonna smoke that fish right there. All right, we're looking good, folks. I had to do some moving around of container smoke and the fish and stuff to get really smoking good and to get that full effect, but we are looking good over here. Mm-hmm. Try this striper. I like it. I like it. I like it. What do you think? I like it. I like it. You want to try a peanut? Try it, Minnie Mouse peanut. No. <laughs> Good. There you have it, guys. We smoked our striper. It came out really good. Everybody was pleased with it. Now we got stuff we got to do before we get ready to go to Ocean City next week. We're going to be in Ocean City for five days, pretty much fishing every day. So we're hoping to bring you some great content. Like these videos, share these videos, check out the description for all the information and the stuff I did today. You guys have a great, great weekend. We'll see you next time we post. Later.